Imugene, a clinical stage immuno-oncology company, is planning to conduct a first-in-human phase one clinical study of a novel chimeric oncolytic orthopox virus, CF33Hness, also called vaccinia, derived from numerous zootic strains of orthopox virus and vacciniovirus. The construct is attenuated by insertion of the Hness transgene at the TK locus, which partially disables viral thymidine kinase activity and enables clinical tracking of the virus. In vitro preclinical studies have shown CF33Hness to have superior anti-tumor activity and potency relative to many other oncolytic viruses against a broad range of cell lines in the NCI60 panel. In vivo studies in rodents have confirmed a therapeutic anti-tumor effect against a variety of solid tumors with high potency and a favorable safety profile. The next slide shows a diagram of the study scheme. The mass study is an ascending dose safety and tolerance trial, which will assess both intratumoral and intravenous routes of administration using CF33Hness as monotherapy and in combination with immune checkpoint inhibitors. The tumor types eligible to be treated with intratumoral injections are advanced or metastatic melanoma, triple negative breast cancer, and head and neck squamous cell cancer. Additional tumors eligible to be treated intravenously are bladder cancer, non-small cell lung cancer, colorectal cancer, gastroesophageal adenocarcinoma, renal cell cancer, and primary hepatocellular cancer. All eligible tumor types must be approved for treatment with checkpoint inhibitors. There are six cycles of treatment at three-week intervals. Doses range from 10 to the 5th to 10 to the 9th plaque-forming units. Treatment with CF33Hness is given on days 1 and 8 of cycle 1 and day 1 of subsequent cycles 2 through 6. Treatment with a checkpoint inhibitor for combination patients is given on day 1 of cycles 2 through 6, immediately following administration of CF33Hness. Patients will be followed for ongoing objective tumor responses and for overall survival. The next slide shows the objectives of the mass study. The primary objective is to assess the safety and tolerance of CF33Hness as monotherapy or in combination with checkpoint inhibitors. A second primary objective is to identify a recommended phase two dose to use in subsequent trials. Secondary objectives include preliminary assessment of anti-tumor efficacy based on objective tumor response rates, progression-free survival, and progression-free survival at six months, as well as determination of viral titers. Viral infection of injected and non-injected lesions will be assessed using Hness-based imaging with Technetium-99. The next slide uh, describes some of the key eligibility criteria. Key inclusion criteria include life expectancy of six months or greater, prior first-line or first and second-line standard of care treatment, either with chemotherapy or immunotherapy, ECOG performance scale rating of zero to two, at least one target lesion meeting resist 1.1 criteria, and adequate hematologic, hepatic, renal, and cardiopulmonary function. The next slide describes the dose-limiting toxicities, which are categorized as hematologic and non-hematologic. Key hematologic dose-limiting toxicities include grade 3 or 4 thrombocytopenia, grade 3 febrile neutropenia, grade 4 neutropenia lasting more than 5 days, and grade 4 hemolysis. Key non-hematologic dose-limiting toxicities include any grade 3 or 4 toxicity with the exception of selected transient adverse events. The final slide describes the dose escalation procedure, which involves a 3 by 3 enrollment design into each dosing cohort. If none of the first three patients or one or fewer of six patients in a cohort for a given route of administration has a DLT, Escalation to the next higher dose is permitted. Dose escalation will proceed independently for monotherapy and combination therapy and by route of administration. A cohort review committee will meet as required to review data from each dosing cohort and approve each dose escalation. Thank you.